Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about lipedema. Lipedema is an adipofascial disorder that almost exclusively affects women. Lipedema leads to chronic pain, swelling, and other discomforts due to the bilateral and asymmetrical expansion of the subcutaneous adipose tissue. Lipedema affects nearly 11% of adult women. However, in the clinic, lipedema is frequently misdiagnosed. It is distinct in manifestation as solely affecting the upper and lower extremities with a disproportion disposition of subcutaneous fat, uh, skin depressions with pearl-like to apple-sized masses form in the skin, and these pariable fascia that thicken and contract eventually cause pain to the, the client. Now another study says that it is proposed that the prevalence of lipedema is nearly 1 in 72,000. Lipedema uh, predominantly affects females, but has been reported rarely in males. Few reports mentioned the prevalence of lipedema around 11% in adults and 6.5% in the U.S. and 15 to 18% in European countries. So some treatments and management, the diet helps to manage obesity and that often accompanies lipedema. Generally, lipedema is fat that is resistant to weight loss with diet. However, few reports do suggest that ketogenic diets do help. Despite exercise body parts, the lipedema does affect continue to grow and although that is an effect of it it's still graded exercises is recommended for for certain people who have unhealthy lifestyles and also few reports suggest water exercise helps mobilize the fluid softens the fibrotic tissues and then allows some of that to break apart now there is a thing called pneumatic compression devices which is those legs compressions that kind of pump air in and out to kind of encourage the lymphatic drainage to happen but other things such as myofascial therapy and deep tissues graston techniques and compression reduction techniques have been shown to reduce fibrosis and lipedema fat and increase blood flow to those issues so this can help reduce some of that pain that people with lipedema actually have and the reason why is because due to the fascia and what the fascia constrictions can do to the body in lipedema poor quality of life immobility and stress related to physical appearance can result into depression anything added into it so if you go through a cold or if you get any kind of sickness or complication adding stress to any of those factors affects how much those complications or even infections can affect our body. Constriction to the fascia actually affects the cardiovascular system. Remember, when fascia sticks to one another, this is what we consider a adhesion, aka a knot. And to say that the adipofascial disorder will not be affected by these knots that we we encounter on a daily day-to-day -day basis is to say that it is not a adipofascial disorder, but it is just an adipose disorder or a fascial disorder if it's just one or the other but it's not it is both once again i am john of greater therapeutics thank you guys so much for tuning in